This video will demonstrate how to convert a Payson Systems time-based CSV file to LAS2 or LAS version 3 file using the software called LAS Apps Pro. Have a look at kcpetrophysics.mynucleus.ca for details. Uh, this is what we're going to cover in this video. I'll first give you an overview of what a CSV file is and what we're going to do to it. Then we'll start the LAS application software. And the first step in that software is to select files to process. And then what we do is we run the routine called convert Payson CSV time based file to LAS. And then we'll look at the results and then we're done. So so let's start with the overview. This is what a CSV file from Payson Systems looks like. CSV means comma separated values. So this ASCII file is really comma separated by values and the first line <clears throat> of the data describes the column that's directly below it. So here we have the date where the year, month, and day are separated by slashes. And the second column is the time, where it's hours, minutes, seconds, separated by colons. And then we have the third uh, column is whole depth, and the units are in brackets, and in this case, they're feet, <clears throat> and so on. So what we're going to do is, or sorry, not me, or us, uh, what the software will do is it'll put an LES header on this stuff, it'll convert the commas to spaces, and it'll put a line counter in front of all of this data right in here. And the line counter simplifies the processing and handling of the data. It also simplifies the filtering of the data, or sorry, downsampling of the data. <clears throat> so here we go. This is, when you start LAS apps, you usually get a screen something like this. It starts with a form for general instructions. We don't need that, so we'll close that. And the first step, what we do is we select the files to process. And the software comes with example files. They're located under the C LAS apps directory right here under example data. And the examples that we want are in 4A CSV time to LES. We have three examples. The third one happens to be an LES file list for testing purposes, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're take all three, and we're going to process all three CSV files. We click on continue. Now we pick out the routine. It's located under more tools. Convert Payson CSV time-based file to LES. <clears throat> Here we go. In the top right hand corner of the form, you got a button for the example input file. You have a button for a description of how the program works. You have a button for the video that you're watching now. And in the bottom in the red area, you got some quick instructions. So the first thing that we do is we set the inputs for we design the output LES file, set items in the dis in the section called Design Output LES Files. That's right here. We select a null value and we select a date format. In this case, I'm picking month-day-year, <clears throat> but this is what I could have picked, any one of those. And here, we can pick the time with colons in between the hours and minutes, or we can leave the colons out. You pick. This can, I'm going to pick the one with the colons because that's what my the, the next software asks for. <clears throat> now, the CSV files are huge and they're usually sampled at one second intervals. And therefore, we can downsample them right here. And what we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to downsample only to two <clears throat> so that I have enough time to discuss it while this, this discuss the process while we're running the software. The header, because I don't have any information on these three uh, input files, I'm going to pick a blank header and then the file name will be entered into the UWI API and well lines. Now if you were lucky enough 
to have the uh, uh, well API number in the file name, then you could actually extract it and put it in the right spot. But I don't have that, so I'll just put the file name in wherever it belongs. If you were lucky enough to have a donor LAS file with the company name, well name, etc., you could have picked that and then you could have imported that for the specific uh, CSV file that you are working on. I don't have that, so I'm going to go back to the blank header. And therefore, we have step number three where we can process everything at once, or we can do one at a time and then change the donor LAS file for each file. So here we go. The next step is to click the continue button to proceed. We'll do that now. Here we go. There's a little box comes up here. It tells you what file is working on in the white space. On the top, it tells you what line it's working on. The line number is not important, but it tells you that it's actually working. Here it's resetting the stop value, something I needed to do. Hang on, we're almost done. And we're done. And then you get this little box in here. If errors had been encountered, you would have ended up with done errors. And but this case, we didn't have any errors. It's a good sign. Now to view, under view events log, it'll tell you what actually happened while the processing was going on. So in the beginning, it says converting PSON CSV file to LES files. It was working on example number one, it scanned for unprintables, it looked at the header, it added a header, it reset the stop value, and then it went on to example number two. So I don't see any word called error because the error message would be right in here. So everything went well. So at this point, the results are done and they're, lo they're located in a temporary directory because we haven't saved them yet. Now to look at them, we can go to View, Text Viewer, and this form will pop up. And we can go to Browse, and we can go to the temporary directory and see what's inside. The temporary, temporary directory is C, LES Apps, Temp. And here you go. These are all the interim files, example number one, file number one, two, three, four. This is the final file for example number one. And here's your final file for example number two. So we'll look at example number two. <clears throat> here's your LES header. The index curve was in front. It started at one. So it looks like there's 2,540 index, uh, sorry, uh, data lines. Let's scroll down. See, we have an index curve in the front, which is really a line counter. All the files, all the columns from the CSV file. And here's the results. The input file was actually data every second. And if you look here, you'll see that now we have data every two seconds because what we did is we downsampled it. We selected downsample and we downsample it by two to one. And that's it. We'll close this. So really we're done. We can now save the results. We go to click on the save and there's your save thing. Suggest you put it into a new folder to avoid overwriting issues. And we're done. Thank you for watching.